It was a treasured family heirloom, now lost in the mail. But before it disappeared, their package spent more than two months traveling from one city to another. The family wants to know how something like this could happen. So Pam Zekman investigated. It was my sisters who had passed away. It uh, was an antique set of silverware, eight place settings that looked like this. It's like when you sit down to dinner, she's there. You know, it's something that represents her. The family sent the silverware using standard mail to a brother in Fort Lauderdale. They mailed the package from this post office station in Joliet, and that's when it began its 66 day journey across the country. The package traveled from Joliet to Jacksonville, Florida, back to Chicago, then east to Warrendale, Pennsylvania, then back down to Opelika, Florida, then finally Fort Lauderdale. The Postal Service could give us no explanation for the silverware's long journey. It seems like it was just in the back of some guy's van <laughs> that was just driving around the country. Roberta Camphouse called her son in Florida when she heard the package had finally arrived. He says, yeah, Ma, it came. It's just the cover, just the box top, nothing else. I says, come on, you're teasing me. He says, no, Ma, just the box top. That's all I got. Could you believe it? No. Camp House has repeatedly reached out to the U.S. Post Office for help, but ultimately... I received a response from them basically saying it was mailed over 30 days ago, so there's nothing we can do. The U.S. Post Office says that in the last three years, they've processed about 88 million pieces of lost mail. Four million of those were packages. The post office says they've been unable to find the camp house's silverware at the mail recovery center where lost mail ends up and is eventually auctioned off. That facility was criticized in a recent inspector general's report for failing to track how many inquiries resulted in items returned to customers. That's all I have left. The camp houses won't receive any compensation for the lost silverware worth about $1,000 because the package wasn't insured. In my mind, it can't be replaced. I don't know what to say to you, except I want them back. A post office spokesperson says this is a very unfortunate situation. To avoid it, she urges people to pack items very carefully and include your name and address inside the package as well as outside. And if you're mailing something valuable, they suggest using priority mail and purchasing extra insurance. Right. Robin, and Erica. Yeah, that insurance seems to be key here. It now, does. It does. Are they going to keep looking for this? I mean, I know they said we can't find it, but. How's that going? They say that they will not, they probably will not be able to find it. This is something that we have, we have two congressmen on the committee that oversees the post office, and they tell me that they are very interested in looking at this. Mm. All right. Thanks, Pam. Appreciate it.